After morning mass at the main Catholic church in Kinshasa, worshippers began their latest protest march carrying twigs, their rosaries and Bibles. They are angry that a church brokered political deal between the ruling and opposition parties that could have seen a presidential election held last December has not been honored. They did not go far. Police had blocked the road, refusing to allow them to move forward. And when the marchers stood their ground, this happened. Police and presidential guards against stone-throwing protesters. Several people were killed, others injured, some with gunshot wounds. We have the right to march. We were following the instructions of our cadre leaders. It was a peaceful protest, but the police would not let us. In the east of the country, police lobed tear gas inside this church. The service had just ended and the faithful were about to start their protest. Several people here were also injured. They don't respect people's rights. Kabila must go. He's even throwing tear gas into the church. We will not accept Kabila. He must go. His mandate is over. On New Year's Eve, there were similar violent confrontations during demonstrations. This is indeed the beginning of the end. Remember they killed six people in December. Logically, uh, people should have been afraid. But it's the country that is happening now. So this pressure is going to increase. The government says the protests are illegal. Church leaders and opposition politicians insist they will not give up their demand for change. This road in the city has now been cleared by police, but it's still very, very tense. People here are very frustrated about the political situation and saying that they have lost confidence in the politicians and the political system. And that's why they're looking more to the Catholic Church to provide guidance and leadership in this difficult political times. With a membership of close to half the 80 million Congolese population, the Catholic Church is hugely significant and many people hope it may be the catalyst that will finally see a free, fair and credible election without President Joseph Kabila in the running. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Kinshasa.